in this video, I go for the sketchiest pit entry in history. But is it a drive through? And oh my word, it gets very close as I nearly hit Jardier. Hello everyone and welcome back to LFM and we're doing the endurance race this time because I don't like the sprint race at Stetson and we're here at Cota Circuits of the Americas. The person in front of me decided not to take part so there's a bit of gap in front of us and that Porsche comes over to the left hand side then as we head to turn one. Oggy going down the outside here. That Porsche then changes the line really slows me up here as Oggy overtakes me there around the outside. Uh, we head down here and there's also an Audi there as well. That Audi coming up from behind and taking a position. So we've dropped two positions there as we all oh, this been instant. And luckily for us, there's awareness everywhere there. Everybody slows down. A little bit of tag there, nothing major. As we continue on through uh, through here, we've got a Ferrari on our left hand side. But Samir on our left hand side there. Uh, as we head through this left hander then. And we're still side by side here. We've got Sang up ahead. We had a bit of an incident with them uh, last stream actually at Suzuka. And they broke a bit early and I went for the move at the same time. It's not very nice. But even so, we continue on out here. We're still side by side with Samir. And Samir's going to get that position then as we head down towards the hairpin then. And then the back straight comes up. And this Audi. Uh, yes, I'm in the Audi if you hadn't realised. Oh, there's a bit of an incident behind there. That gives a bit of breathing space. But yes, we're in the Audi. Very good top speed here. It's a car that you can overtake with. Uh, and I'm with the Audi at the moment because I have a setup for this from when we did the uh, Project Reborn Endurance Race here. So it's a bit of a hybrid setup, a mixture of wet and dry setup, but even so, it works well enough. And that's what I'm using as we head down in towards the complex section here. Then this is in the stadium area and you see a long line of cars. A very strong lobby this, you know, I'm, I'm the number 12 car in this lobby. As we dance further on then, we have Sang in the distance where Samir's got past a couple of cars then, the Porsche and Sang. And um, we continue on. So we're in P12. Not too shabby here at all. It might be in P13, actually. I think the uh, ATC is just having a bit of a moment there. Down in that bottom left inside. Because apparently P14 is just ahead of me now. Now P30. I have no idea. I'm going to around P13 at the moment. Which is where I started, effectively. Obviously, we had two cars off with an incident earlier on. And we're just getting up to speed here in this 45-minute race. So, as always, with this LFM video, we're going to have two races. And then the guide at the end for you if you want a bit of information on what to do, how to do it, etc, etc. Through here we go then. Nothing happening here as we head back onto the back straight here. Uh, and something very interesting is going to happen here. Something I've never noticed before in this game. So I hope you're ready for this one. We're going to head down in towards that braking zone. And down in that bottom, you're going to see the engines turned yellow. Yes, there we go. I've zoomed in for you nicely. Now, I'm not sure what happened here. I'm not sure whether I lost a bit of power or what. Um, I, I spotted it. I was like, what's going on here then? I've never had this before. So if somebody can let me know what that means, uh, it'd be great. But I felt like I did lose a tiny bit of power, but nothing major. Let's come up to our first bat mark here of De Bono. As, uh, it's Bono! My tides have gone. Apparently. Oh, hello. He's heading towards the right -hand side there, the NSX. So we go on through. Thank you for letting me by there, mate. Now, I was going to pit a bit later on here. So, 77 litres is what I anticipated I needed for the Audi. You may be able to get away with 75. But even so, we come into the pits here. We go, oh, <laughs> you don't want to get... Come in a bit safer than that, folks. That was a bit too close here. Do we get it stopped in time? Um, pretty much up there as we then leave our pit crew. Let's see where we're going to come out here then as we head to the pit exit. So in P13, P14, P15 at the moment. Hopefully there's some people who haven't pit up ahead uh, as we head into turn. In fact, Samir's on our outside here. We're going to drop to P16. And Samir's had a bad pit stop. I did check Samir's VOD afterwards actually. And uh, yeah, just a bad pit stop as he dropped down. Just didn't have ignition ready. So yeah, stuck for another five seconds or so there. So Samir's dropped back here. See a drive through there for P18 down on that bottom left hand side. That is one thing you do have to be aware of here at Circuit of the Americas. It's those track limits. They're a beastie boy. They really are. As we head into this right hand then. And going to continue on through. Chuck it left. Sorry. Oh, a bit of oversteer there. Ooh. Naughty, naughty. Two track limits then I've had so far. Uh, my first one. I can't remember what that was for. So through the left we go. Oh, a bit of oversteer then again. Oh, out wide. Naughty, naughty. That's another one. If I get another one now, I get a drive through. So we're going to have to drive this extra, extra, extra safe. And be very cautious, especially in that first set where it's very easy to get a penalty. You know, cutting these corners a bit too much. I will explain cutting these 
a bit more on the track guide don't worry but uh, yeah we're just trying to be a bit safe through there as we go through and oh car number one oh samia's gonna drive through oh samia oh no we're also in, up into p12 which would then becomes p11 towards the end of this race so not much happened in this race mainly because it's cold attempts and i am struggling with cold attempt races at the moment i'm not sure why but hey p11 we start to p13 we drop down to p15 up to p11 by the end i'll take it you know and we had that engine whatever that means uh down that bottom right and there's confirmation of p11 and audi in p2 there I'd love to know what their setup is because I want to I want to go I want to go faster and faster. All right, let's see what we could do in this next race then. What's happening here? So, we're starting P6 this time, car number 6. Look who's ahead of me. That's right, it's Jardia. Jardia is ahead of me then. Let's get ready for the start then as we get ready. Oh, I nearly went a bit too fast at the start. Just survived that one as we head towards turn 1 we're on the outside this time. Now, I would argue the outside is the better place to be here. It's more dangerous, but you get the better run out of this corner. And we're going to see that here as we get past Sharat there. And we're going to be up into P5. Well, technically P33 down in the bottom left at the moment. But we are actually in P5 here as we head into the S's then. Oh, Oggy's in the Audi as well up in the distance. It's, Oggy obviously likes minty colours in that minty Audi R8 there. We're actually in the TCR livery, believe it or not. So thank you to Europe for this. Now, we are going to be racing this again. We're going to do the full endurance on Sunday. That will be live stream. So make sure you do check that out. However... We're not going to focus on that live stream right now. We're going to focus on this race because this one is an absolute corker. I hope you're ready for this one as we head down towards the hairpin then. Uh, so in the lead at the moment, we have George Boothby, followed by Jardier, followed by Oggy, followed by Fox, and then myself, and then Sharat in P6, the cursed position. So good race coming up there. Mixture of all sorts of cars. Ferrari, Hyundai, Hyundai? No, not a Ferrari. Not a Hyundai. It's a Honda. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> an Audi, a Porsche, an Audi, Ferrari, Ferrari. So lots of MR cars here as we head down in towards this breaking zone. Oh, Johnny is looking for a move on George there in the distance. He's going to bunch everybody up then. We've got Augie right behind them as well as we head in towards this right-hander then. And they're still side by side in the distance. Uh, Ferrari versus Honda versus Audi there. We just need to stay with them here. See if we can take advantage of any action that does go on ahead. Augie on the inside of George then. As they leave that corner, it looks like Giardia may have to lead. I'm trying to look into this. Dirt. No, George is still there in that Ferrari. Look at George keeping it there. Is George going to keep the position? It looks like George is. George has. Well played, George. My word. Well played, George, indeed. So we're back into a line of cars again. And again, remember the start of the race for me is always a bit iffy for me. Oh, the Audi looking down inside. Giardia looking down the inside as well. Bit of contact there between George and Giardia. And look at this. We're two by two. And now I've got to pick a line now. Where do I go? Do I go on the inside or outside? Let me know what you would pick here. This is what I'm going to do. Augie's going to make it three wide. I'm going to try around the outside. A bit like the start of the race here. Down the outside we go. Then Augie forcing their way down the inside here. Through the left-hander we go. Johnny. Oh, ho, ho. look how close that was to Johnny. Yeah, that was so close. But we did make a position. We're up into P4 now. We got ahead of the Porsche. The Porsche and Johnny. Yeah, just a little bit of contact there. We'll have a look at that in the bloops, of course. The bloopers are coming up at the end of the video. But we're into P4 then. Good progress so far. Start to P6, up to P4. I'm feeling very confident in this race because it's 31 degrees. I do better in warmer races. So I need to try and solve that problem with cold temps and colder tyres. However, at the moment, we're in a good situation. You know, George, Oggy, Jardier, all ahead. I know Oggy can be a bit sketchy sometimes with their racing. So anything could happen here. Anything can happen as we head down in towards the hairpin. And nice. Audi's got a good straight line speed. But so has that Honda. That Honda's got very good straight line speed as well. One of the strongest cars in the game right now. Even with the nerf that did take place recently with the latest patch. You see a little bit of weaving there for the old slipstream. As we head down towards the stadium section. Nobody's really catching it for here. Johnny has a little nosy look there. But I think a bit too far back then as we head into this stadium section. Uh, I don't know where that Porsche has gone behind. They've disappeared off the face of the earth. There has uh, Fox. I'm not sure where they've gone. Maybe chasing another Fox. I've no idea. Anyway, through the right we go. As we continue on out then in towards the left-hander. It's still status quo. Oggy's looking, very <laughs> Oggy's looking racy. I can tell you that much in that Audi R8. That is for sure. Now, through this right-hander, the Audi struggles so much. It just wants to understeer away. It's, it's painful. It's so painful. It really is. Uh, it's one of the most frustrating corners in this car, actually, as we go through that left-hander then and continue on. Playing it a bit safe as well with track limits there. Loads of room on that outside still to, uh, to my availability. Through the left we go. 
And still status quo for now then. At the end of lap two, right. I think we need to advance a bit further on in this race now because it looks like that group's just pulling away a little bit from me here. And they are indeed. So we've got a bat mark up ahead of Moretta. Uh, so we come into the braking zones. In fact, Jardia has overtaken Oggy in that brief moment then. So the Honda overtakes the Audi. And we get past that back marker. Thank you very much for moving on over, my friend. As we catch up to another one here, we've got Weffling. I'm used to waffling, but hey, there we go. We've got a Weffling as well. <laughs> oh, these bad jokes. Honestly, they, they can be here for it all day for you. They really can. Into the left we go. We've got Honda in the mix. Oh, back markers there. That's Denisa. Not the same one as last time. I'm not actually sure. But there's uh, basically Jordi here, a back marker. And then the uh, Audi of Oggy. Now, we're not, I've been upping the pressures already. I'd already upped them all by plus one. That front left just struggling a little bit. So I did another plus one um, as we head down into the braking zone. Now, I will say this. In the qualification, I'm pretty sure I could have got pole. Um, basically, and I'll, I'll show you in the bloopers as well. It invalidated my lap for no reason whatsoever. No reason whatsoever. I just got a speed warning and then it was gone. I was like, what? I had one shot, essentially, to do qualifying, so... Very frustrating. Anyway, we've got this Honda who just slows me up a little bit here. A little bit frustrating there. Um, but we do get by all the same. So we can still see the lead there. George is only four seconds up the road. That's that's nothing. Now, I struggle on this first set. My second stint is always the better stint for me. It really is. Let's advance a bit further on then. Where Oggy has got a drive through for track limits there. So they're going to come in the pits then. And that's going to put us up into P3. I hope, I hope uh, Olga Rognikov... The man we call him Oggy. It's just easier to say than trying to pronounce that every time I mention Oggy. Yeah, anyway. Continue on through here then. And we're going to come in the pits. Now, we have a working engine, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Uh, we're going to come in a little bit safer this time. Taking that full racing line and a bit slower into the pits, actually. Same time as Jardia there. Um, but we're going to carry on later in the race. Let's have a look in that distance then. Because George has come out of the pits behind Jardia. George is behind Jardia. And at this point, I'm thinking... Fantastic. This could mean a huge battle up ahead. My time to shine now. I've got to push like crazy and see if I can catch up to these two. Well, let's head on a bit further. I've already caught 0.8 of a second to Jardia. That gap's come down there. Under five seconds that time. Let's have a look now. I've gained another seven tenths on Jardia. Another half a second there. It's down to under four seconds. We advance further on. George is now in the lead of the two. And what is that distance? Gain another second on George. Two seconds on Jardia. It's down under three seconds. Three seconds. It's down under. As we head to the final lap then. This is the final lap. Jodia got past George. I decided to go for a bit of a vacation there on the outside of the circuit. But it wasn't quite enough. I wish it fought a little bit more. But I was pushing so hard. And I'm actually really happy with my performance here. You know, with a hybrid setup. You know, this is set up for both a little bit of wet and dry racing. There's definitely more. Some... <laughs> George absolutely punting Jodia at the end there. But yeah, this is set up for both. So... There's definitely more pace that I can do here in that Audi R8. So I'm really happy with that. I really am indeed. And there you can see the final results. And two and a half, well, three seconds off the lead there. Two and a half seconds off George. I loved my second stint there. I was pushing like crazy. Right, let's get in to the track guide then, because that's why some of you are here. So heading up the hill then, the second to last white line is what I use. It's actually next to the 100 meter board, which you can see on the right there. But I use it, so I try and get as close to that as I can. And I'm going to be hard braking. Now, some of you will want to turn towards the corner. Others will just want to take a wider line and really accelerate early. Now, I would recommend just putting your foot down and going there. You really can. Going downhill as well, it'll benefit just increased performance. Through there, just flat out. And as we head into here, okay, we're just going to go through these corners. I'm going to drop a gear every time and slow the car down that way. Now, a lot of the aliens brake. And they can't, you can't brake there, but it unsettles the car. So I just let off and drop the gears and, and accelerate through there. Now, you want to turn left here before that higher barrier starts down the right hand side turn left you just lift and turn in i will say by the way on those s's don't cut the first one but cut the second and the third and you should be fine so just keep that in mind for this right hander then the red and white curbing there the last red bit there is my brake marker and i'm just going to break in a straight line now i want to abuse the inside of this corner a bit more than i do here as well i want to straighten the car up quickly and then chuck it left and hopefully not get too much obviously i got a little bit too much there uh, there's definitely more time in that corner on this given lap Head down here then. Uh, we're going to go over the curb here a little bit to widen the uh, hairpin. And we're looking for the first white line after the right-hand side goes from red to green in terms of the curb in there. You can see that, the AstroTurf section. So as that white line appears, the first white line, you're going to brake, chuck it in, and foot to the floor as fast as you can. You want as much acceleration as possible. Be careful of the sausages on the exit, of course. 
But oh my word, you need a very good exit there because this is a long straight. Now, what I use here, depending on the situation, is the red tent or the light after the red tent, okay? You can use either of these. Uh, in quality, I'm more heading towards the light there and hitting the brakes again, abusing the trap limits a little bit here and really trying to widen that corner to maximize the speed out the corner. Be careful of sausages again, but do try and use that exit a little bit more. Head over to the left-hand side. The last white line is my brake marker for this corner. It's just after it leaves the screen. If you're using, obviously, one screen here, if you're using a wide screen, obviously, it's a bit different, but use that as your marker. Now, drop to first gear. Be careful of oversteer. Lots of cars oversteer here. Very easy to do. Now, as you head into this corner, very easy to oversteer here, get it all wrong, etc. So, I'm using the start of the curb, and I want to straight line my brake in here, okay? I don't want to be turning as I'm braking. Straight line the brake in and just square off the corner. As you can see how the racing line works. Turn in. Foot to the floor much quicker than I do in this lap in particular. Off you go. This right hander, you turn in. Again, some people break for this. I just let off. I try and clip that first part of the curve and then I bring it back and then I want to shift in terms of gears. Make sure I'm up a gear and it should go around very nicely. Head over towards the right hand side then. I've got that light there. That's what I use for a brake mark here. Break it in a straight line and I want to chuck the car in. So you'll just see that here. Break it in a straight line, chuck it in. Avoid the sausage and accelerate out. Be careful of trap limits on the exit there. Very easy to get wrong. Heading towards the last corner then, you have that piece of tarmac or the signs, whichever one you want to use here. Basically, it's just before the signs. You're going to hit the brakes. If you brake too late here, it is problematic. So don't be too aggressive on the brakes. Remember, it's a, back, it's a start finish straight. It's a long acceleration period. Leave that corner and that is a lap of circuit of the Americas. That's not it for the video though. It's time to have a look at what happened in the bloopers. All right, here we go with the first one. So this was a big incident that we sort of, you know, went side by side with Samir in eventually. Uh, Sang went off and then just comes back on flat out. Well, yeah, that's caused carnage. That's two people hit there. Augie's the third one. Yeah, not the greatest there. <laughs> Having a bad day, I think, there. Sang, uh, literally, maybe should have just chilled out when coming back on. I'm not too sure. Then we had this weird one. So we saw this in the mirror. So we're going to head down towards the hairpin now. Um, what's going to happen here? Oh, hello. Oh, oh goodbye. <laughs> He has to just dive down the inside there and bonks the Ferrari as well. Wow. I don't know what happens to the Honda there. They literally, I think, just cut across the nose of the other car and just went flying and met Barrier. Right here was the insane, insane side-by-side -side action. As we come through here, then slight tap on the Porsche on Giardia. And then look how close me and Giardia got. My word, it was close. Now, what should it happen to Fox, actually? Let's follow this through, then. We've got the Ferrari on the right, then. Uh, ooh, a little bit of contact there. He was going to get that side-by-side -side through here. It looks like the Ferrari is going to take advantage there and the Porsche is going to come in behind. But they just disappeared entirely. So does uh, anything else happen here? Head into us. Oh, having a little bit of luck. I'm not going to quite work out then. I'm going to head up here. Then. Oh, oh, oh. Taps on the rear end there. And then you have a queue of cars all coming by. My word, it does look quite good, that, doesn't it? Look at that. Look how many cars there are. It looks so good. Need this permanently, man. Look at it. So, so good. Need this on all games. That many cars. Be perfect. Yeah, brilliant sportsmanship there from Fox. Let's look at the incident from my perspective then. Not incident, the overtake. In towards the braking zone we go. Trying around the outside, giving lots of space there because I knew it was through. I slight tap there. Coming through here. Look, I slightly lift there because Jodia was just correcting that contact there. Oh my word, it's close. In fact, let's have a look how close this was. Going on the slow-mo then through the corner. And we're going to see Jodia's car just appear now. And look at this. Look at this. It was on target for a pit maneuver. I lifted off just there. Oh my word. The reactions! The reaction, see, I'm not washed. I'm not washed. I can react to accidents. Um, yeah. Now we had this incident, probably so lap invalidated with track limits, etc. Slowing up here. And then um, we just abused a bit too much of the track limit there. So we're coming through here. And it recognizes I've just carried a bit too much speed by one kilometer an hour. Look at that, one kilometer an hour. But it is what it is. I do hope you've enjoyed this video, folks. If you have, please do give it a like. Subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest ATC and Gran Turismo content. Two videos there to check out, but that is it for me. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video or live stream very soon.